to see you. Thanks for coming back. It's been so long. September, let's just say, was not my month. My laptop went kaput, kapow, kabag. Ten years together, so that happened. Since I pretty much missed all the unboxings for September, I thought I'd just play around and, and do a little bit of experimentation for the month of October. I'm still gonna be doing unboxings, but I might sprinkle in some what the hell is that video until I get back into the swing of things. It's been so long, honestly. I haven't recorded it in ages. So, if anyone's been watching, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star just came out with the beginning of their docu-series, which I think is going to be pretty epic. It basically covers, I would say, Shane Dawson's journey through Jeffree Star over the past year which is going to be really exciting. The YouTube beauty community this summer was pretty crazy. So I am here for it. And this is basically a riff off of Tati's video, full face of YouTubers makeup. She actually did another one and I was like, wow, I should get on my video. So this is gonna be a full face of canceled YouTubers makeup. Originally gonna be controversial YouTubers makeup, but canceled sounds more, so that's where I'm going for. I feel like everyone's getting canceled at some point or another. This particular video is not meant to be mean-spirited. I don't know any of these folks. They don't know anything about me. I am gonna be dredging up some old drama, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna touch on it. I didn't do a lot of research because I'm not a drama channel. I do unboxings mainly. I just thought this would be a fun experiment to do to see how I like it, you know, you know, you know. I'm gonna interchange the words controversial and canceled, just so you know. If you notice my finger at any point in time, it got slammed in a door, not very nice. Everything you see here, I paid for it myself. It is sponsored by me. So the drama that I'm gonna be talking about, it's not firsthand. Probably not even second hand. I don't even know if it's third, fourth, or fifth hand. If you have any problems with what I say, I'm sorry, change the channel. <laughs> um, I don't know what to tell you. I found it all on Google or I watched a video about it. That's all I can tell you about it. If you're interested in continuing to watch the video and see my full face of canceled YouTubers makeup, let's go back in time and see what I used. Speaking of Tati, we are starting out with Halo Beauty. So she basically started Dramageddon 2.0. Tati is an OG YouTuber. In April, she made an IG story. Hey guys, who is having a crappy day? Raise your hand right now. Talking about how she felt lonely in the beauty community, used and unsupported, was really quite an emotional post. It got a lot of attention and started a firestorm of drama. There were a few videos back and forth between her and the alleged culprit. I'll cover that later in the video, but I'm guessing anyone that pays attention knows who I'm talking about. She basically ended up gaining, gaining like 4 million subscribers, but eventually got called out and canceled by some people when a rebuttal video was put out. She released a vitamin line. This came out in 2018 and it supposedly promotes thick and luxurious hair growth, minimizes fine lines and wrinkles, supports collagen, making your cheeks nice and bouncy, and keratin production, promotes strong and healthy nails. Now I need that because my nails are atrocious. And with anti-gray fighting enzymes. Well, it's a little too late for me, but maybe it'll help you out. So this is 60 capsules in all, runs $39.95. For 60 capsules, that's two months, so basically $20 a month. It's not that bad, but it's essentially a cocktail of vitamins. So if you take your vitamins, I'm pretty sure you can uh, finagle this mixture. But uh, I'm just gonna pop one and let's see how it tastes. It's okay. It's vegan. The casing has a certain scent to it. I'm not exactly sure what that scent is. Horsetail extract. What in the world? I just put horsetail in my mouth. 
It smells a little funky. After a little bit, I'll probably get sick of it. But hey, I got 60 days to try it out. We'll see how it works out for me. Next up, we're going to talk about a notorious YouTuber that I personally feel thrives on controversy. She was a small part of last year's Dramageddon that stems from a picture that was tweeted out. Since then, she's been accused of cultural appropriation, being a sexist, and I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other stuff out there, but you'll I don't know. I, like I said, I just started paying attention. We are talking about Nikita Dragon. She is the lady of the minute. A dragon fire and it's a skin perfecting potion. And this came out March of this year. Uh, this cost $25. And basically it's a color corrector. I personally don't use color correctors, you know. I guess I just like my dark circles. I don't know why I haven't actually used a color corrector, <laughs> but I am willing to try it. So let's open this bad boy up. All right, so that is what it looks like. So it claims to correct the appearance of under eye dark circles, cover blemishes and uneven discoloration and is universal so anyone can use it. I know she got a little bit of flack for that because I think a lot of people were like, what? I mean, it's a color corrector bad could it be goes on pretty smooth it smells like makeup there is the little applicator it looks like she did the damn thing so I'm just gonna buff this out I didn't really go too heavy on it but it looks like it's uh, buffing out pretty well so next we're moving on to brows but this particular youtuber is the CEO of a cosmetics company and basically called another youtuber ugly this chick is really trying us both right now, huh, Jen? <laughs> and she was basically referring to Karina Kaboom, who is actually the first drama YouTuber that I actually started watching. So I was definitely taken aback when I saw that video. I was like, what? Personally, don't think anyone should be calling anyone else ugly, especially someone that works in the beauty industry, like creating beauty products for everyone. Like, why are you calling anyone ugly? I'm not really sure what the context was. I will say that I do actually follow her on social media. And as far as I could tell, she's super supportive and encouraging of new and upcoming talent. But she's super nice on social media. So I don't know. Use your own judgment. Maybe you know more than I do. Jennifer Gerard, and she is the CEO of Gerard Cosmetics and where I'm actually gonna be using Brow Bar To Go. This runs $28. This is my first Gerard Cosmetics product that I've used ever. Blonde to Brunette. Two shades, there's a blonde and a dark brown and then a little waxy thing, I'm assuming to make your brows just stick and stay in place. So I'm basically just gonna use the wax and the darker color this is not my cup of tea. I like nice and easy. And I usually use brown um, just to lighten my eyebrows so my eyebrows don't look as sharp. All right, I think I'm done with this. You know, I'm not a brow person, so I don't really know how to apply it. And the brush, it's, it's I don't know. I think for someone a little bit more skilled, this would make more sense. $28? I don't know about that. This is a little bit of a stretch for the eye primer, but you know, bear with me. Apparently in 2017, they came out with a palette from my information that I gleaned off of Google was pretty much the worst palette released that year. Maybe it wasn't the worst, but it was definitely notorious for not being a good palette. Apparently the shadows crumbled as soon as you dip the brush into the pan and they were really hard to blend. ABH subculture palette. So it says the YouTube videos and Google. But since then, they have definitely redeemed themselves, coming out with several palettes this year. I think I can count probably six so far in 2019. Okay, ColourPop, I mean, Anastasia Beverly Hills. <laughs> We're playing with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. And this runs $23. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my eyes. Whoa, it is light. Oh, and it's thin too. Ooh, oh boy. Oh, I think I used a little bit too much. Oh my word. Now, before I, <laughs> I know I look like a freak of nature, but before I delve into what palette I'm gonna be using, I wanna throw out a few honorable mentions because I think these people deserve to be in this video. 
So the first honorary mention that I'm gonna be pulling up is going to a drum roll please, Kathleen Lights. I personally don't follow her much, but she seems to be the queen of ColourPop. I mean, I've seen so many collabs between her and ColourPop. She did have a nail polish line, which no longer exists. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. And in 2017, apparently there was a Snapchat video of her using the N-word. I know. What the hell? Why would you do that? She did since apologize. So, you know, like I said, I don't even watch her that much. Next up in the palette canceled YouTuber category, I'm going to pull up Laura Lee. She also merits an honorary mention because she was part of the picture from last year. She does have a makeup line out that's called Laura Lee Los Angeles and was part and parcel of Dramageddon 2018. Apparently someone dug up old tweets of hers that were racist and I guess she was also fat shaming people. And then she released, in my opinion, the world's worst beauty YouTuber apology video. It's been so awesome. It's so positive. I've seen a few and this was pretty darn awful. Since then, she has been releasing videos. I think she's coming back. I know she was losing subscribers for a really long time, but I think she's bouncing back now. So she gets an honorable mention. None other than Miss James Charles. Oh, yes, 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 yes. 2019 canceled YouTuber of the year. <laughs> I think James Charles takes the cake on that one. I mean, it was pretty bad. He lost a million subscribers in 24 hours, and I believe he lost 3 million overall, but he's since gained them all back, so don't feel too bad for him. And he was basically accused by Tati, remember I said I'd come back to it? Yeah, of not being a supportive friend, and using his fame and fortune to coerce straight men into thinking that they were gay. That's, that's very strange accusation, but hey, you got canceled because of it, so people believed it. He came out with a video basically refuting all the allegations, came out with the receipts, and bounced back. He's right back where he started. He's good to go. Those were my honorable mentions for the palettes that I did not pick for this video. Going into the palette that I did pick, so this is another OG YouTuber. Seems to inspire varying degrees of loyalty and hate. She did accuse another YouTuber by the name of Petty Page, a drama channel, for hacking her bank account and stealing money from her, which is a pretty freaking serious allegation if you ask me. She's also been involved in some pretty public feuds with other YouTubers and a makeup brand to my knowledge. So we're talking about the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills collab. I've had this palette for a while, so the palette itself is gonna look all smudged up. Those are the colors in the palette. I'm not gonna do any swatches because I'm pretty sure you can find like 50 million videos out there that have swatches in them. And Jackie Ina personally, I'm indifferent. Take it or leave it, it doesn't bother me either way. But one particular statement she made on her Instagram story or Snapchat, I'm not really sure which, she basically called all her followers heathens and ungrateful. Like, you heathens are so ungrateful. That stopped me in my tracks. I was like, what? You're lucky I bought your palette. Ungrateful. Talk about who's ungrateful. But she apologized, so it still rubbed me the wrong way but uh i already have the palette and i'm gonna use it because i spent my own money on it the palette runs 45 dollars with ginger very similar to my skin tone <laughs> almost matches it perfectly a big wig zam Rickington. all right i'm gonna try some pinker in there on the edge see if maybe i can darken it up i don't like how light it is but i think this is Okay, so far, it's a lot lighter than I would go for normally, but that's okay. Maybe lituation, let's see how that works. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now, because I'm just gonna keep messing with it, and who knows what I'm gonna look like once I'm done. Now for my eyeliner, I am going back to another OG YouTuber, who's actually been MIA for quite a while, as far as I know. I'm, 
I haven't seen her in the past year, but she just started putting out new videos. So this particular YouTuber came up with a company called IQQU, and apparently they were claiming that they were FDA approved when they were not or they were selling products that were FDA approved when it wasn't. Something along those lines. Ended up with legal troubles. The YouTuber in question disappeared from the scene. She has since bounced back though. She's one of the founders of Ipsy, which I love. Her company is called M Cosmetics and I got the eyeliner that I'm gonna try out today. And it's by Michelle Fawn. And this runs $21. This is what the eyeliner looks like. I gotta say this is probably my favorite eyeliner I've ever used. That's the brush tip and it is so malleable. <laughs> like it glides on so well. That was super easy. I'm usually struggling with doing a wing. I'm a fan of M Cosmetics. This is like better than my Ico. Really freaking good liner. I'm actually just gonna throw on some mascara, which is not by a YouTuber. I couldn't actually find a YouTuber that had drama that had a mascara line that I'm not gonna mention later on in the video. On to lashes. We are moving to another OG YouTuber who has her own um, makeup line, cosmetics. I don't know. Well, she has her own thing going on. Huda Beauty is who I'm talking about. And she was accused by Jeffree Star of stealing Beauty Bakery's marketing campaign. So I'm not really sure on all the details. I was like, yeah, it's kind of the same. But I mean, at this point, who is actually coming up with original ideas? Doesn't happen often, I could tell you that. I don't know if I suppo support this particular cancellation, but hey, who am I? I only got like, what, 294 subscribers? Ain't nobody checking for me. We're doing Huda Lashes. I'm just gonna be right back while it takes me an hour to put these on. Actually, these are actually the easiest lashes I've ever put on. So maybe it'll take me like half hour, not a full hour. Par for the course, the lashes went on super smoothly. I love these lashes. Huda definitely knew what she was doing. I didn't actually buy these like individually. They came in the Allure box and I just like clean them and reuse them all the time because uh, I love these lashes. They're super easy to apply. So we got my eye look all done and we're moving on to foundation. So I'm gonna stretch this one a little bit because this isn't actually a YouTuber I'm gonna be talking about and we are talking about Juvia's Place. Yes, I know. This isn't really a YouTuber, but this is my video, so I can bend the rules if I want to. Juvia's Place came out with foundations and concealers. They actually just released a foundation stick too. Uh, this came out in May, and apparently a few YouTubers, black YouTubers, mind you, refused to review it. And the claim was Juvia's Place did not support black influencers. Uh, there was a bit of back and forth on Twitter between Jackie Aina and the CEO of Juvia's Place. And then the CEO, whose name is Chi Chi, put up this tweet right here. And I was absolutely dumbfounded. I was like, girl, you just ruined any argument you had whatsoever. I mean, Juvia's Place, they're still doing big things. If I hadn't already had the foundation, I probably wouldn't have gotten it just because of that that tweet alone. The whole drama back and forth, I'm like, whatever, entitlement, but that tweet just like, <laughs> cut me off right there. But I already had it, same thing with Jackie Ina, so I'm gonna use it because I spent my money on it. Um, I do believe she did issue some sort of apology, but that's pretty much why Juvia's Pace made my canceled list. Yes. Yes, it did. Well, let's buff out this uh, foundation. And for anyone that's curious, I'm using the shade Togo. Wow, I look super dark. Yeah, this is definitely like full coverage. Wow, that looks really dark. We are on to concealer. Yes. So this is probably the most controversial beauty YouTuber, bigger than James Charles. People either love or hate Jeffree Star. If I went through how many times he's been canceled, this entire video would be about him. See, Shane Dawson is actually doing a nine part series on top of the three part series he did last year, which Jeffree Star is a part of. So just suffice to say, 
he is a controversial person. There is a video out there from back in the day where he threw out the n-word, which he did apologize for. Yes, that happened. He also had beef with Huda Beauty, which I mentioned. Had beef with Jackie Ina. I believe he, there were the term was rat. I'm not really positive. Actually, everyone in that picture had beef with Jeffree Star. I could keep going, but I, I just don't have enough time. We are gonna be using a Jeffree Star concealer. I've been using it since it came out, so it is probably about all done. It's like drying up. I have other concealers I could use, but I definitely wanted to make sure I put this in the video because how could I not, right? All right, so let's buff this out. I also have the J Star setting powder that I'm gonna throw on. I usually go pretty light with the setting powder just because I don't like looking too fake, even though I do look fake. I know these are canceled YouTubers that I'm doing a video on, but uh, I gotta say I'm looking good. <laughs> like everything I've used so far, no complaints. It's like, I don't look so bad. Going on to lip liner. And this might be a little bit of a stretch as well. I think she's a YouTuber. I mean, she does YouTube videos. So we're gonna be talking about Kylie Jenner. Why not, right? So I'm just gonna go with it. And there seems to be a drama with this chick wherever she goes. She sneezes, it's on the news. It's like, really, dude? So her most recent cancel, canceled situation, fake skincare routine. which was absolutely horrendous. And then the walnut face scrub, which a lot of people were not feeling at all, but she still released it. It's still in stores, I saw it. I don't know how canceled she truly is, but we're gonna be trying out her lip liner out of one of her lip kits that made her the billionaire that she is today. And this one is in the color Dolce, Dolce K. Is that too close? Well, it's Kylie. Oh, I think I went too light. This is a light color. Definitely super creamy, went on, went on really smooth. I just picked up the wrong shade because, I mean, really, why would I do that? Not the smartest look, I could tell ya. And the lip kit was $29, so it's, she's not a cheapin. So that was why Kylie was canceled. Oh, I was looking good, now I'm looking ashy around my lips. I'm not feeling it. And I'm gonna call out Mr. Keeping It 100, Gabriel Zamora. And bear with me and follow my train of thought. This dude started both Dramageddon 2018, he's the one that sent out the tweet, and Dramageddon 2.0 in 2019 because he made some statements about Tati that made her, according to her, made her so upset that she had to put out, put out a video and started the whole thing. So I think he is the original drama starter and I believe he was canceled for a little bit last year and probably a little bit this year. Not really positive about that. He did do a lipstick collab with MAC Cosmetics in 2017 called Gabriel Zamora, as far as I could tell. I couldn't get my hands on it, but if I could have, that would be the lipstick I'm using right now because I definitely wanted him in this video. And I'm definitely gonna be keeping an eye out for 2020 to see what he's gonna start then. Another honorable mention goes to the infamous Jaclyn Hill. I don't think this drama or cancellation needs an explanation. But she basically released uh, her lipstick line over the summer. They were contaminated. They had hairs in them. They had balls in them. They had all sorts of stuff in them. I was absolutely disgusted. She is the sole reason I check every single lipstick before I put it on my lips. Before I used to glance, now I like inspect. She basically put out a video saying there was nothing wrong with her lipsticks. They were perfectly fine and then recall them all. I, for one, am not a fan. If you could put out that nastiness into the world, I'm not buying anything you're selling. Not that I bought the first one, but I never touch her stuff. After mentioning of those two notorious YouTubers or canceled YouTubers, Hank and Henry's collab with Rich Lux. Love you so much. 
So, Rich Locks is actually one of my favorite drama channels that I watch. Uh, there are actually three. It's Rich Locks, The Viewer's Voice, who they're besties, I guess, and uh, As Told by Kenya. Those are my favorite. I don't always agree with them, but I like to watch it. It keeps me entertained and keeps me up on the beauty news drama. He's recently been accused of throwing out the N-word. He's also been accused of being on Jeffree Star's payroll because if you watch his uh, drama videos recently, they seem skewed in favor of Jeffree Star, which I can kind of understand because they're clearly friends. I mean, they show up in each other's videos. He's actually part of Shane Dawson's documentary that Shane Dawson just put out. And he tends to hate people that Jeffree Star is not friends with. He also defended Jeffree Star being a racist, which I thought was a weird argument. Jim standing a racist. Well, girl, you know what? First of all, and not that he is, but if he was, and ain't nothing wrong with being a racist, girl. Being a racist is frowned upon. No one likes a racist, but last time I checked, it's not illegal to be a racist. Very, very strange. I understand defending your friend, but how he put it just didn't sound right. It, I understand where he was going, but it just didn't, it didn't mesh very well. But we're gonna be trying out I Love You So Much. Now this is super pale, and I only got it because it is Rich Lux, so I wanted to support him. I don't know how well this is gonna look. Oh, Lord. Oh, I needed a darker lip liner. If I had a darker lip liner, this would have killed it. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a matte lipstick when I put it on. It like dries down to a matte. This is what I love you so much looks like on my lips. I'm not a fan, even though I love you so much. A lip gloss by Dominique Cosmetics. And you're like, I know you're like, what drama is that? I know, I said the same thing. I was like, what drama is Dominique Cosmetics got? But I guess she used to be besties with Laura Lee and Laura Lee basically accused her of stealing her thumbnail. I don't know why you would have a falling out over that just because everyone's thumbnail kind of looks the same. But this happened in 2017, so it's been like two years old. So that might be, it could have been a different time, you know. Oh boy, although the lip gloss looks Poppin'. I can't say I'm a fan, cause I'm not. <laughs> that's that's what I get for doing a video about canceled YouTubers. I was looking good too, I'm so upset. We're back on the OG YouTuber train and this particular YouTuber, I get where she's coming from. Like she's trying to do good, but she definitely like puts her foot in it a lot. Marlena Stell, who is the CEO of Makeup Geek. She's been canceled a time or two. And I honestly feel like her, the reason she gets canceled is because she speaks up. Everything she says is true and it is right. But you know, you know the term shoot the messenger? That's how I feel. I do follow her on social media as well and she's really nice. She cares a lot about the beauty community which is very, very obvious. Apparently she had a falling out with Jaclyn Hill she did speak up about Jaclyn Hill's lipsticks when they came out over the summer. And she also made some statements last year about how much beauty YouTubers get paid, which she got a lot of, there was a lot of backlash about that too. And there was also a Twitter spat between her and James Charles about a Netflix special. Not sure exactly where that went. I know she did a video about it, but I, I couldn't get through it all. I mean, half hour videos for me are just like, come on get to the point. Unless it's Shane Dawson, then I'm just like, yes, 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 please. Yes, yes. I'll take two if you don't mind. The blush I'm going to be using is going to be a Makeup Geek. It's a powder blush in a pan. That's what the color looks like, hopefully. Can you see it? Oh, I could see it. I think that's enough blush. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to go like super crazy. Go on, Makeup Geek. Oh, wow, this is so pink. This was not planned. I did not expect to end up this pink, but now that I'm here, I can't stop. Next up on the cancel docket is going to be a highlighter by Manny MUA, and it is from his Luna Beauty. Wow, this is like some hefty package. Look how thick of that is. 
Well, the packaging is very nice. Wow, that's maybe too red. Redder than I expected it to be. That blush, makeup geek. You're doing too much with that blush. Or maybe I did too much with the blush. Well, the blush is there. I'm definitely blushing. This is what the highlighter looks like. And I got it in the shade Moon Prism. Venus? I don't know what. I got this a while ago. This video has just been on my back burner because September sucked for me. The highlighter looks like it looks super pretty. You know, I always keep trying. Whoa. Wow. I didn't think that was showing up that much. Oh, okay. Maybe it does. I was going to switch to my fingers. I didn't realize I'd put so much on my face. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Luna. Oh, I think this is way too much highlight, honestly. And it's, look at the pan. It's like I haven't even freaking touched it. And that is, look at that highlight. That is crazy. What in the world? <laughs> I feel crazy. All right, well, Manny and Amelia is, I can't even, that is blinding. Did not see that coming at all. I was just like, hey, it's going to be okay. No, no, no. It is blinding. Okay, Manny's got it going on with his highlighters. I can tell you that. Wow, that's the first time I've tried any of his products. So I was just ex expecting it to be like meh, 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 no. So now we're moving on to setting spray so I could set this, <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this, um, I just feel so, done up this is crazy i was like okay and then i got to the lips and the highlight and now i just feel so extra right now i have a kat von d setting spray and i've actually had this for over a year i went into sephora before i was big on makeup and i just asked them for a setting spray and they directed me to kat von d i was going down the youtube beauty rabbit hole and i saw that kat von d and jeffree star had beef I looked on her channel and her last video is about her not being a Nazi or an anti-vaxxer. Like a Nazi Nazi. Not just like, like a Nazi. If you have to defend yourself about being a Nazi, you got problems. Like there is something going on with you. I And then I watched Jen Love's Reviews video about Kat Von D and, well. That's all I have to say. She should be canceled. Uh, with all that information out there talking about she's not the, not a Nazi. Girl, you know, do you, do you. But anyway, this is was gonna be part of the video, but then the pump broke. Look at that. Broken pump, I can't even set my face. Cat, not happy. So that's my video, bye.